Good morning and welcome to the eighth meeting in 2017 of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. Can I members, remind members please to switch off all electronic devices? Um, at the start of the committee, I would like to express condolences to the family and friends of everyone who was affected by the atrocious events in London yesterday. And um, I'm sure I speak on behalf of all the members of the committee in that respect. I'd also like to um, pay tribute to Claire Hawkey, as I believe this will be her final um, meeting of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee, as a motion has been lodged on committee changes. And I want to thank you, Claire, for her service to the committee um, during the course of our, our term on here. Thank you very much, convener. Thank you. Um, agenda item one is a consideration of cross-party groups. Our first item today is for the committee to take evidence on a proposed cross-party group on social science. And I would like to welcome Daniel Johnson, MSP, to the other side of the table <laughs> this morning. And I would like the proposed convener of the CPG to make an opening statement. Well, thank you very much, convener. Indeed, it is a pleasure to be sitting this side of the committee table, albeit slightly intimidating. Um, uh, and I don't propose to really make a lengthy statement, um, uh, but let me try and give you my elevator pitch of why I think uh, that this cross-party group is worth having. I think first and foremost, I think we all uh, know of the importance of academia and universities to Scottish public life. And I think the social sciences within um, uh, academia are particularly important. Indeed, I think they're particularly useful um, to us as policymakers, because I think that so what social sciences are, are about are about applying scientific methods to social phenomena. So I think that this is a group which could be of particular use and usefulness um, to our work in this place. I think we're also helped by having a lot of interest from key figures uh, within the social sciences in Scotland and indeed key groups. And I think that's reflected by, I think, what's quite a healthy uh, uh, group and listing of uh, uh, external members. Um, we've also got an enthusiastic uh, secretariat in the form of the Campaign for Social Sciences and, and Nick Bibby in particular. I think we are proposing a varied and interesting uh, set of topics to look at. And I think our overall approach is really to, to sort of look at that evidence-based scientific approach to looking at social phenomena and indeed policy issues, which I think will be of, of interest. So things that we're looking at, uh, at discussing are things like, well, the nature of productivity, how to understand that, the impact of automation, a rights-based approach to policy, uh, how sustainability can be better embedded in policy, and also a better understanding of what the workforce actually looks like and what jobs people are doing in Scotland. So I think, in short, that this is a CPG that should make a useful and interesting contribution to our work in this place. And, and importantly, I think what we seek to do is hold meetings and events which actually draw in a, a broad uh, uh, interest from members right the way across the chamber, whether they're members of this CPG or not. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr Johnson. Um, can I open up to questions from the committee, Mr Stewart? Thank you, convener. Uh, Mr Johnson, I think it's a very laudable uh, uh, approach that you're taking with reference to this uh, cross-party group. Uh, and I think that in the information you've given us, you, you've talked about policy areas and you've also talked about uh, policy topics. Uh, and I think that that's, that's the right way to challenge it and take it forward. There's so much that you could deal with uh, that you, you may have to uh, try and manage as you go forward uh, how, how you take on board uh, because if you start to look at some area it may extend it and you may end up going down one channel for a few meetings uh, uh, to try and manage that but I also would like to think about how you would work with other cross-party groups that are doing similar things uh, and, and, and liaise with them uh, to, to ensure that you get the broad base. I, I, I'm delighted with the number of individuals and organisations that you've taken on board already uh, and I think that does show that there's a, a, a meaningful uh, and an opportunity for things to progress but it's, to, it's the relationship you will have uh, with other groups uh, that I'm more interested about. And I think that's absolutely right. Um, I, I think, first and foremost, I think this is about an, an interface between policymakers and, and social scientists, and I think that's a valuable role, but it is always going to be, by definition, broad. But I think in our initial meeting, we were discussing uh, the, the topic of homelessness and the possibility of holding a joint meeting with the CPG 
for homelessness. So, and I think that's a good example. And I think very much we're interested in, in looking at where those overlaps exist. And actually, more importantly, looking at the work that other CPGs are doing and, and maybe sort of offering them the, 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 the perspective that social scientists may bring for, for providing alternative, refreshed and, and new perspectives on the topics that they're looking at. Thank you, Convener. Thank you, Ms. Hockey. Thank you, Convener. Um, it's just a, a point of clarification, uh, Mr. Johnson. Um, you've noted that uh, Nick Bibby from the Campaign for Social Science uh, provides the Secretariat, but I don't see that group on the organisations that are members of the cross party group. Is that a, was that just a, an, a clerical error? Or? I think that is just a clerical error, so apologies for that. I'll get that amended. Uh, thank you, Convener. Uh, Mr Johnson, um, just to be clear, uh, you said you acknowledge in the briefing paper that you will be um, overlapping on other cross-party groups, the remits of other cross-party groups. Will you be seeking to actively be involved in their remits or will you be seeking to avoid um, duplication of what they are discussing in terms of, shall we say, sustainability and you know, demand on speakers? I, th I think the key to it is being mindful of what other CPGs look at and what their interests are. I, I don't think we should either actively seek nor avoid. Um, I think the key thing is, is, is about being driven um, by that, that discussion between policymakers and academics in the field of social science, seeing where they're kind of the key areas of interest, and really maybe highlighting areas that, 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 that uh, social science can provide perspective, I think being mindful of when those uh, topics are overlapping and therefore making those approaches to CPG. So I, I think it's about being mindful about what we're looking at and, and who else might be looking at those issues. Okay. Okay. Any further? Questions from the committee members? No. Um, can I thank Mr Johnson for his attendance this morning? Uh, the committee will consider whether to approve the application at the next agenda item and um, you'll be informed of our decision as quickly as possible after that. Thank you. I'll suspend briefly. <laughs>